This is Chris, the Idaho Painter. In this video, this is part five of my video series of spraying interior walls of a new construction home where we got bare sheetrock or drywall and we've gone through the painting process to um, mop the walls, prime the walls, spray the walls, and now we're on step four. This is video four of our series of painting this uh, new home. And if you haven't seen the previous video, and that was actually spraying the walls, you can click on the video right here, and that was video number three, and that's actually spraying the walls and the process that we went through to do that. Now we're on to part four of this video series, and that's actually spraying the ceilings because the ceilings are a different color than the walls. So we're gonna show you that process right now. Some of the handy things to have too while you're actually spraying, definitely want to have a respirator. We like to actually use uh, monkey suits or overalls so we don't get a lot of overspray and fallout on us. I like to have a pair of rubber gloves. Uh, definitely the respirator is important. like to have either a hat or um, a spray sock on. Don't want all that fallout getting all over my head and face. So we try to get it covered up the best we can. If you don't have any of these tools or accessories, you can always go to my tool store right here, my Amazon tool store, and purchase any of these tools or accessories. Or you can actually go check out my shirt and hat store at any point in time by clicking on my logo right here that Okay, we'll take you to my shirt and hat store. Really cool stuff designed by my sister, Melanie. So here we go. We're going to start this painting process. So now we're on to the process of spraying the ceilings. And what we got to do is actually uh, mask our walls so we don't get overspray on our uh, clean walls. We just sprayed them yesterday. They're all dry. And uh, prior to that, we actually mopped and primed the walls, and that's part one and two of this video series. Yeah, if you haven't seen it, you can go watch it after this video. But now the walls are all dry and we're masking them, and we've got to cover the entire wall because we're going to be spraying these ceilings and we're going to get a lot of fallout, and we don't want that dust on the walls, so we're going to be masking them. We're dropping it with 9 by 400 plastic and just tacking it along the walls several inches from the top, and then we're going to run a 9 inch paper and one inch tape around that ceiling so we have a really nice crisp clean line and then we're going to spray those ceilings with the uh, ceiling bright white flat paint eminence from Sherwin Williams. So I'm going to show you that process of what it looks like to actually mask and get ready to paint the ceilings. So we're just going around right now I'm using this large roll this is 9 by 400 plastic and we're just going around and adding the plastic around this whole room. Then we're gonna go back and begin doing the paper. And right now the plastic's just about done. Got a couple of people running the plastic right now. And I'm running the paper and then we're gonna begin the spraying process. You can see around us we're just working our way around this house and we're dropping our 9 by 400 uh, plastic just comes in a box and we're just tacking it along the ceilings uh, anywhere between 3 and 6 inches from the ceiling then our 9 inch paper is going to cover that but we're just quickly tacking it around and we're just working our way our whole, around the whole room here and just using ladders to tack it up with just 1 inch tape.
I'm running around uh, putting my nine inch tape or one inch tape around the top now, masking that. And one of the simple tips, you'll see me walk up and down the ladder without tearing the paper and just doing it in one consecutive strip. And the reason why I do that, after we spray the ceilings, if you just grab one end of the paper, you can pull it down. You don't have to walk up and down the ladder and grab your paper that's been uh, put up there in multiple sections. It'll just come out, come down in one long consecutive strip. It makes pulling the paper off a lot easier. So you can watch me as I'm going up and down the ladder. I'm pulling a, enough uh, paper off my masker that I can walk up and down the ladder and begin the next section. So we're getting ready to spray these ceilings here now and we got our airless sprayer and we're we'll setting it up outside in the garage. We don't want it inside the building because it'll get a lot of paint overspray on it and just collect a lot of dust and just gets it really dirty. So we're setting it up on the garage and the airless sprayer will be running a, a pressure of approximately around 2200 PSI and we're going to be spraying these ceilings with a 1221 tip and it's a pretty wide tip but the wider the tip you can use the faster you can paint the ceilings the less amount of time you have to look up and the less overlap marks you could possibly have. We're going to be using a flat paint so it's going to dry out it's going to look really nice and even and you typically don't have uh, problems with uh, lap marks when you're using flat paints. And another tip when we get ready to start painting, you definitely want to have your floors uh, clean, uh, clear and you don't want anything uh, around uh, where you'd be walking. So you're going to be able to walk back and forth this room so you have a clean shop to actually spray these ceilings back and forth without stopping. You don't want any start and stop point marks or points. We Once we start spraying, we don't release the trigger and we just continue spraying the whole time. So I'm out here in the garage setting up this sprayer. I've got a drop cloth down. Don't want to get any paint on the concrete. Getting this sprayer set up. If you don't have any experience using uh, airless sprayer, I do have videos on how to clean and operate airless sprayers. One of them, my latest one, right here, how to operate an airless sprayer. You can go check that video out and that'll give you some of the tips on how to use these things. But right now we're getting this thing set up to uh, begin spraying inside the house right now. So just watch as you're uh, watching us spray. We're just walking this room, spraying, keeping the tip around 12 to 16 inches from the ceiling, and we're overlapping about 50% as we're spraying. And you want to walk. You want to walk slow enough that you can see that paint going on there and going on there extremely thick and gelling out. You don't want it to be dry. You want it to be actually sopping wet across the whole ceiling so it gels out and so you don't have any lap marks or dry marks at all on the ceiling. So watch the speed of us walking, watch the overlap and watch us apply this paint.
Now, while the paint is still wet up here on the ceilings, we like to begin pulling the masking down. Actually, I've begun pulling all this plastic or paper down, and now I'm gonna begin pulling the plastic down. Once all the spray, I'm gonna leave the plastic up until all the spray is done because there's a lot of uh, dust in the air, and we don't want that settling on the walls. But once all the spray is done, we're gonna start pulling the plastic down too. But I like to pull the paper down while the paint's still wet. And this plastic is hanging here. We've got um, one of us is out here spraying the ceilings, and that's the process. And um, actually spraying the ceilings and this is it for step four step five we actually got this house has got another color on some walls in another room that uh, actually kind of blends in with the kitchen and dining area with rounded corners and so we didn't spray those walls so we're going to be rolling those walls and we're going to show you that and that's going to be step five of my process painting this new construction home and we're going to move on to that step right now so hopefully you've been enjoying this